Have you ever noticed that most of the do-it-yourself quadcopters and multi-rotors look like flying experiments? Well today I want to show you how you can dress up your quadcopter with your very own custom-made canopy made from a soda bottle. To do this we're going to need two soda bottles. A clear one for the finished pattern and a tinted one to make the pattern. So let's get started. The first thing that we want to do is cut a slit from the top of the soda bottle to the bottom of the soda bottle. And then we want to go ahead and cut off the neck and the bottom of the and the bottom of the bottle. When we cut off the neck of the bottle, we want to try to save as much of the round shoulder as we possibly can. Once we have this initial shape, then the first cuts that we need to do need to allow us to get in between the booms of the quadcopter. So we're just going to cut a little bit of excess. Away. To allow us to do that. initial pattern is going to look more like this. That will allow us to fit it over the quadcopter and start to trim out the canopy. <clears throat> now we can begin to fit our canopy on our quadcopter and continue to trim it out until we get the fit that we're looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and continue trimming this out Once we have our template trimmed out, we can transfer this to a clear soda bottle so that we can cut out our final pattern. Just fit the template over top of the soda bottle and then hold it in place with a few bits of painter's green tape. With that held in place, we can take a felt tip marker and trace out on the clear soda bottle our final pattern. from holding it, holding our template.
and now we have the pattern on the clear soda bottle. Now we can go ahead and cut this out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. going to fit it onto the quadcopter so that you can see how it's taken shape. And that looks pretty good. Now if you'll notice we still have some of the black magic marker, the black felt tip marker, along the edges and we want to wipe that off with a wee bit of methyl hydrate. Soaked. Take a wee bit of methyl hydrate soaked on a paper towel and wipe off the excess marker along the edges of your pattern. If you don't do this when you paint it, That will run and spoil the appearance of your paint job. We want to get all of that off. And if there's any dates printed on the soda bottle, just take the methyl hydrate and that'll come straight off. Give it a rub. Now what we want to do is take some now what we want to do is take some green painters tape or low tack tape low tack painters tape and cover the outside of the bottle to protect the outside surface from any overspray
once we have the outside of the canopy all covered in tape, masked off to protect it from any overspray, now we can mount it on our spray board. And the spray board is just a piece of styrofoam. Covered in some newspaper with a couple of wooden blocks. Now let's pin our canopy. to the wooden blocks. This holds it open, makes it a whole lot easier to paint. Now what I want to do is I want to put a design, just a simple black pinstripe, down the center before I start painting. So to do that, I'm just going to cut off a wee bit of uh, black automotive pinstriping. And this is adhesive on one side, so we're just going to pull that back like that. And then lay it down as straight as we can. Just trim off or cut the edge so that when we peel off the tape later we don't actually pull the pinstriping off again. There we go. <clears throat> now we're ready to paint. So we went ahead and we gave our canopy a couple of coats of uh, yellow spray paint and now that it's dry we can unpin it from the blocks of wood and go ahead and remove tape you can see we've got a beautiful yellow canopy for our quadcopter and all we have to do to mount it to the frame of the quadcopter is put a bit of double sided tape along the edges so that we can fasten the bottom of the canopy to the frame of the quadcopter.
And there you have it.